Say hi. Hello. <laughs> hi, everybody. So I hope that you've had a chance to check out the um, activity book. I hope you enjoyed the first visit with the professor and his assistant. That was so fun. Kayla, and, a, and a lot of other more fun things. Yeah. We are outside. It was rainy today. God really? brought some rain. We needed rain, didn't we? Yeah, for our plants. For we our have plants. a whole entire garden. Yeah. Do you want to tell them what you grew in the garden? Um, <laughs> Just tell them with words. We grew tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We grew snap peas. We grew cucumbers. We grew strawberries. We grew squash. And a bunch of other things that I cannot remember. Yes, yeah, so we had fun doing that, didn't we? It was fun to watch God's creation and grow. Yeah. Over there are some pink. Okay, flowers. so let's get on to the next activity. You have all received a disc. And the reason we're doing this activity, because today we talked about light and we started the day with the silhouette pictures, but look at what that CD does when you shine it in the light. You see the light reflecting off of it? Yeah, yeah. What's it, it look looks like. It looks like a big ball of rainbow. It looks like a ball of rainbow. It sure does. So, you can use your imagination and decorate this any way you'd like. With you, some yarn or yarn. string. And what else could you put on it? Beads. You, you could, could put on beads or any other things that have holes in them and you can put them on. Right. You could do that. Or you could glue paper on the other side. This side isn't reflective. Why do you think it's not reflective? Because this must have been an old disc for a movie. Oh, well. Or something. So one side's reflective and one oh, no. isn't. So you they could really decorate are. the non-reflective side if you wanted. Just do whatever you'd like. The holes are already punched in there for you to enjoy that. So let's look in our book and see what was next. I'm what just going to go through this? things and um, and show you how to do things. I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. But we'll, we'll have some fun with it. Kaylee, do you want to read the next Bible verse? Sure. Okay. God said, let there be a huge space between the waters. Let it separate water from water. And that's exactly what happened. God made a huge space between the water. He separated the water that was under the space from water. And that, and that was above it. God separated the water. Yep, next one. God. God caused the huge space sky. There was there was evening and there was morning. It, it was day two. It was day two. Day two. God gave us the sky. And so the activity for today, um, we can talk about or think about the water that God gave us. We can use it for cleaning, drinking, growing, growing food, food, and playing. playing. Um, and caring for creation means to be careful not to waste water. Uh, that's something to be very aware of. So, yeah, but there's not a, there's like a lot of water in the world, especially those big, huge oceans. Uh, I am not kidding. I know there's a lot, but we have to be careful with it. Okay, so so the activity that was planned for us is to learn about filtration and how um, water that is even dirty water can be filtered um, and utilized. And so I'm going to just have your uh, grown person put a hole. In the cup that was provided with for you it was a paper cup maybe I'll use that one instead I thought it would be fun to use a clear one but let's just use this one for ease here and just put a hole in it because what we're going to do is end up filtering dirty water through filters and you were given filters in your bag so filters and then you put some sand we've got some sand in here and we're yeah. gonna put um, sand in the the cup about all the half, half no not all of it just about you know halfway up the cup and then some gravel and gravel you can find anywhere probably can in your I garden or an alleyway you bet so put that in did you find this on the alleyway mm -hmm, I did so let's put some some gravel in there and then we're gonna stick it in a clear jar so you can see when we pour our dirty water in, you're going to see that the clean water will filter out. Kayla, can you hold that up so that our friends can see it? Okay, just hold it like that. Thank you. And what we have here is a bunch of dirty water. Ugh. Dirty water. Let's see if this works. We're going to pour some. We're going to pour it in slow and see what filters out the bottom. Nothing. Oh, oh here it comes. It's wow. so clean. 
Yeah, it's looking pretty clean. It has filtered pretty well. But it this seems... This is a fun experiment. But it seems that it's kind of foggy. It, maybe just a little, but not nearly as dirty as when we started. And so, um, God made our earth filter itself. I mean, we have a lot of ways in which um, our, our earth can take care of itself. But it's How really important for us not to there? pollute the water. Well, oh. not not too much. So you can see, you can compare. Our this water is much cleaner than how we began. So that was a fun activity. I hope you have fun with that one. Let's look and see what the next one was that the we're going to do. Was, let's Just see. Okay, okay. So we did that. Let's talk about the third day. The third day. Would you like to read that? Yes, please. Okay. Wait, I think you should get it. Okay, too. thank you. God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into one place. Let dry ground appear. That's exactly what happened. God called, God called the dry ground land. He called the waters that were gathered together oceans. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land produce plants. Let them bear their own seeds and let there be trees on the land that bear fruit with seeds in it. Let each kind of plant or tree have its own kind of seeds. And that's exactly what happened. The land produced plants. Each kind of plant had its own kind of seeds. The land produced trees that bore fruit with seeds in it. Each kind of tree had its own kind of seeds. God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning. It was day three. So God gave us land and plants. So the next activity I know you have done a lot of, and we talked about it at the beginning of the video. We, in your bag, you've received a pot. You need to provide your own soil, which you can find in any garden or anywhere outside if you can dig a little hole. And then in a bag, you received a seed was two popsicle, two popsicle sticks. sticks. And so the purpose of the popsicle stick was to write the date and what you were planting. And I believe Miss Jeannie said that these seeds are an iris seed. So you simply would put a hole in your soil, put the pointy end of your seed up, and then gently cover the seed with the dirt. And then keep it watered and care for it. Leave it in a sunny spot and pretty soon you'll see green sprouts coming out of that. But then okay. are we really, that's, can we really take care of that? Oh yeah, we're going to. Yay. Okay, that's all we have for today. Oh. Tomorrow we'll upload some more videos showing you the rest of the activities if you need it. Uh, and it's just a fun uh, chance to <laughs> connect. So have a good evening. Bye. Bye.